Tommy with us tonight. Um, I'm, you'd far rather be out there with a new pitch, I would have thought. Oh, yeah, definitely. But definitely. you've got a bit of a tweak. Um, yeah, um, I felt my groin on, on Saturday. It was a little bit of a pull. Um, it was annoying. I think it was 88 minutes when I'd done it. Um, and I felt it a little bit. It was a bit tight before I'd done it. Um, yeah, so I, I told, saw you, actually. At yeah. edge of the box, you were just... I told myself, back. obviously, when you feel like that, you like, don't do anything silly. And then yeah. I've just overstretched for a pass because, if I remember correctly, if it was going past me and they would have sort of broken us. Yeah. Um, so I didn't want that to go through. Um, and I've overstretched my right and it's sort yeah. of pulled on my left. I've never done my groin before, so it was a bit of a unknown territory, whether it was a bad one or, or not. Yeah. So what's Ben's diagnosis? Um... It's not as bad as we uh, originally sort of feared. Um, obviously, I wasn't aware. Sunday it was really sore, um, so I was thinking, "Oh no, I don't know what I've done here." Yeah. Um, but we've just done some work on it, and he's happy. Um, and I think we're going to try and hope for um, next Saturday. Oh, nice one! Um, nice I don't, I don't think I'll be available for this Saturday. Um, well, it's, too, it's too short notice. You're and making me journey. <clears throat> yeah, no, I, honestly, <laughs> I, I, I need to speak I'm about that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a long journey, isn't it? it is um, long, it's a shame because you were, you were, you yeah. could see the joy on your face when you scored those two goals. I think, I think Saturday was the first game that I really felt that like the best of me had come out. Um, it's been a little bit frustrating uh, previously, but I mean, Saturday, yeah, I mean, obviously was involved in every single goal. Yeah. Um, and I was just getting on, you know, it was, I really enjoyed just getting on the ball and, yeah. and, and expressing myself. Yeah. Um, obviously, playing in the number 10 role is, is, is difficult at times. You can be a bit isolated and like there's a, when it's quite compact, it's hard to get on the ball because it's very tight. Um, but I just felt like I had acres on Saturday and I was, I was relishing it. Yeah, it was a joy to watch. It really was from, from, the, from the stands and uh, we knew it was going to come. It was just obviously getting frustrating for you that it happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, the, and I know it's come, it was going to come as well. And, and the most frustrating thing for me is that it had come and then now it's just a little bit of a uh, setback again. But it, it'll be fine. Yeah, it, the good news is that I don't think it's too too bad. Yeah. Um, and um, I'm looking to get back training next week. Well, I bet you want to get on that pitch. Yeah, I do. It looks really good. And the, t the session tonight actually looks like right on my street, like back and forth, sh lots of shots and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. But it, no, it looks really good. Um, but like I said, I've just got to wait, wait for it, wait yeah. to get back on yeah, it. Yeah, you'll be fine. Who do you support, Danny? Uh, West Ham. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a West Ham supporter. Yeah, yeah. And, and who, who's your favourite player? What? In West Ham or overall? Either. Lionel Messi. Okay. The, yeah, the yeah. goat, the, the best that's ever ever done it. I, I, when I was a kid, I used to just, the amount of hours I've watched his videos, I, I don't think there's a, a goal that I haven't seen in his career. I just always used to watch him. And I just think it's, it's mad, like, for someone who plays football and has played football at a, like, quite a high level, the things he does, even I'm yeah. like, I don't know how he does it. Like, just, makes, it's just, just makes it look like he's got yeah, all the time in the world. Exactly, it's, yeah. it's just crazy. I don't know how he does things. Like, uh, you know, I really think uh, Ronaldo's quality as well, and he's obviously <clears throat> probably the, one of the best as well that's ever lived. But I think with Ronaldo, with the things he does, yeah. you've seen it before. You know, he does an overhead kick, you've seen that before. Yeah. He does a, a, a header or a 40 yard screamer, you've yeah. seen that before. He just yeah. does it on a cons consistent basis. Yeah. With the things that Messi does, I, you just don't see it ever being done before. Maybe Maradona is the closest one. Yeah. But, but on a consistent basis where he's got like seven, six, yeah. seven people around him, he just gets out. It's yeah. like, well, you, I mean, to your teammates, there's some real quality players in that squad as well. I mean, he's your unfair question, but who do you reckon is the best player out there? Oh. Out there, so obviously I'm not out there. No, right you're there. not. Obviously, <laughs> but no, you. Um, it's, I can't say. No. Everyone's different. Like, we've got some really good technical players. We've got some sort of real battlers and sort of like um, players that have got real, like, sort of. Um, good football knowledge um, but to be fair I think we've got a really good balance this year so yeah. it's hard for me to say I won't say no um, no um, I mean I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing um, Kamani playing 90 minutes because he, he looks like he's got just natural talent yeah yeah definitely I mean obviously I, I haven't actually played with Kamani before um, but I've seen him in, in, in training he looks good Obviously, he had that uh, the cameo against uh, Ram Ramsgate. Oh, what a goal! Um, yeah, I think he probably was looking forward to uh, tonight's game because I'm guessing like a cup game is quite good yeah. to get some minutes. Um, yeah. I don't know whether he would have started, but yeah. I think um, he would have probably looked to, to start. Yeah. Again. So overall, Danny, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, are you sort of happy where the team, the squad is? Do you think there's potential there to do well? Definitely. I think, you know, like 
get, now that we've got the pitch back, it's going to be so much more. It's going to be better. Um, we've got a, a home now. Um, we'll get that many more fans back and everything like that. Um, and I think um, the more we play, we'll, the more it's a new team, it is, it, you know, and and every new team does need some time to gel. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the fact that we got the good results against the, the better teams um, it shows the quality we've, we've got, um, and it's more the the dis more disappointing results against the other teams just shows. It, Maybe we just needed to gel a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it wasn't to do with the quality in the team, no, definitely not. I think um, we've got the quality in it now, it's just all sort of just gelling together yeah. as one. And the, and the final question, Danny, probably a difficult one, um, <laughs> just starting to get into trouble, but um, how are you finding the, the management structure? Because it's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, no, I, I think it's really good. Um, it's it's um, There's a lot of detail in, in, in training and, and stuff like that. There's a lot of information to be sort of taken on board. Um, I, I like that, you know, I like sort of more information and, and I haven't struggled in terms of like taking loads on at one at one time. I think it improves me. Um, mm. Mm. And um, and yeah, and Kev, Kev is, um, is messaging me as well. Um, he messaged me after Saturday's game, which is, it's always good, you know, to, to have that from the manager. Um, Communication. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, I think you know, he just sent me a, a screen a screen recording of the um, of the goal scorers of the league, and I'm only a few behind. And, and to be honest, I have been a bit disappointed with the amount of goals I've scored. But yeah. you know, I've, I think I've scored four in the last three. Yeah. So if it's not actually that bad. So sometimes you need that little uh, reminder that you know what, like. It's not actually that bad, even though I, I, hired, I hold really high standards for myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes well, you just need it, someone to be like, it's, it's coming, like, don't be too hard on yourself. It looks like you're scoring all the time because on Nuts and Bolts TV, you're heavily featured. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever watched it. <laughs> yeah, I always watch it. I always watch Match of Day, 100%. Yeah. Because you're on there all I the actually, time. I deleted Facebook because I, I, I went through a little like yeah, yeah. anti-social media thing, but then I downloaded it because I needed to watch Match of Day. <laughs> yeah, good man, good man. I'm glad to hear it. But it's on YouTube now. Anyway, yeah, so it is on YouTube Facebook. and uh, you're, as I say, you're heavily featured. So, yeah. 30 goals this season, please, yes, minimum. Yes, yeah, I said that at the start. Yeah. Um, I, want, I'm, I want 30. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it'll be an interesting one because, you know, on Saturday I played, even though I scored two, I played that deeper role. Um, so, like I say, some games it's going to be quite, it's going to be harder to have as many chances when yeah. you're playing the deeper role. Um, but I always try and sneak it forward anyway. <laughs> you're a hero to us. Super yeah. Dan, thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Cheers, thank, thank you very you. much. <laughs>